How do you know Sabir Bay? Uh, Sabir Bay, I know Sabir Bay from basically just making my rounds in the community and putting in the work, you know, for the people. And um, I met the brother, and, you know, we chopped it up. You know, um, we, we were supposed to be doing some things, and, uh, you know, that kind of went left. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, the brother, you know, we started dealing with each other on a more personal level. Right. Being that he kind of like came into my family on a personal level, you know. Right. I don't know if you want me to go in detail on let, that. You, let's go deep, man. Let's, let's put it on out. Let's, let's go deep. Now, what what was the exact situation? Okay. Um, so the brother Sabir Bay, um, you know, and I told you this in the email that, you know, I had an event. He called me up for, he called me to do security for some event that he wanted to throw. Right. 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 So I said, all right, I'll do it. I showed up for the event and he told me, thank you, thank you, thank you. After that, I had an event that I threw myself. And I asked him, I asked him to show up. And I told you in the email that he declined. I just remembered he didn't decline. He actually told me that he was going to show up. Okay. Shabir Bay never showed up. So you did you pay him? Oh, he did. Uh, what what happened? You paid him or what? No, no. It was just it was just a word thing. You know. Oh, like, okay. A mess. It was like you know I, I did a favor for you, so you come and do a favor for me. Right. Right. Okay. You see what I mean? So and he never showed up. So I was a little funny with him about that, but then. Um, I have my, uh, my, I had my Facebook account up there. I had him on it and I had my daughter's mother on there. Okay. Now my daughter's mother was on there and, um, what's funny about it is that at the time me and my daughter's mother, we weren't together. We weren't getting along. We were going through a lot of stress and strife or what have you. Um, somehow the brother Sabir Bay contacted my daughter's mom. Damn. I don't know how that happened. I don't know where that came from. Um, but he contacted her. They started kicking it or whatever. And they got together. Wow. Yeah. So he, he went behind your back and started hollering at your baby's mom and then hooked up with her on the low. Right. But th- what the brother is saying is that he didn't know me, which... <laughs> I, I, which which is kind of crazy because uh, how don't you know me when we're around each other in the same circle a lot? Not only that, you asked me to come to your event to hold you down for security. I show up and we we spoke. Exactly, you see me face to face. Yeah, that I think that's part. Yeah, that's part of his mo denying stuff. This brother has done stuff, and then when you front him on it, he had what? Well, I don't know who. I don't, that's not me. I didn't do that. I don't. Yeah. So. So what? So what else happened? So um, after that whole thing happened, they hooked up. I'm telling my my daughter's mom, you know, you need to, you know, stop messing with that guy because we're in the same circle and right. it's gonna make it a, uncomfortable. It's just not the right thing to do. So of course, she went against my word for whatever reason. So they began to, um, you know, deal with each other, what have you. Um, I was a little hot about that right? because, right. you know, as a Moor, you know, you're supposed to say to yourself, okay, this is my Moorish brother. We in the same community. These are toes you don't want to step on. Exactly. So, so after that, um, they were dealing with each other and we got into it over the phone. I kind of challenged them and asked them, you know, if you want to meet up, blah, blah, blah. He didn't want to meet up. Of course. After. Of course not. So after after that whole thing transpired, we spoke over the phone again. Then we met up, and I wanted to tell him. I wanted to talk to him about my daughter's mom and where her head was at. Now, so how, well, now, how was, was, now how old was your daughter at the time? Now was your daughter around all this? Uh oh yeah, my daughter was uh my de- my daughter was about let's see now she's seven she's about five years old at the time. Oh, wow 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 yeah. wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so what else happened, brother? So, um, so y'all met up. After that? Y'all met up. So, so we, we we met up. I, I I spoke to him about 
my daughter's mom and everything like that, just to let them know where his, where her head is at, and basically explaining them how, you know, this shouldn't be going down. Exactly. And uh, he he claimed that he he understood where he, I was coming from, blah blah blah. So we basically shook on it. We parted ways. After that, they continued to see each other, and out of nowhere, my daughter's mother just. Just, just dropped him. <laughs> <laughs> so she, she, just, she woke she up and realized. Yeah, she just woke up and realized what kind of bum nigga she had laying up with her. So go ahead. So, so she just drops him out of nowhere, and um, I guess he didn't understand why. So um, that kind of made him a little bugged out, I guess. Yeah. So he he was pretty much like camping out in front of the front of her house and Damn. uh he would yeah he wouldn't pick up his stuff out of the house and it, it was just it was just it was crazy i didn't you know? heard the, i didn't heard variations of this story from about three or four different people what's up with sabir moving into chicks houses and not leaving i, I didn't heard that about three or four times from different people and, and i mean people have have to had to like legally almost get this dude up out their spot so what else happened, brother? What else happened? Wow, wow. So so after that, you know, um, she's calling me and telling me, you know, hey, could you, you know, get this guy out of here? Could you do something about it? So I had to step in. So I had to step in. You know, of course, I had to use, you know, street means to try to get him out of there. You exactly. Know, you know, leave her alone, blah, blah, blah. She don't want to have nothing to do with you anymore. I'm a step to you, basically. Right, right. So, so you know, the guy said, yeah, you know, I'm going to get my stuff out of there. You know, it's crazy that all this stuff is going on. I'm going to get my stuff out of there. And he still didn't do it. Yeah. So he still had his stuff there. So after that, I had to make another phone call to let the guy know that, okay, this time now I'm not playing. I'm coming down there. And I'm coming down there with a bat. Yeah. Oh, damn. Hey, it- yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, so after I came with the bat thing, you know, then he decided to come and pick his stuff up. Uh, that that did did you see him or, um, did you actually confront him and what what happened? Did because when you come at him like that, when you come at him on some street shit, that that's when he gets real humble and um, he starts bowing down and start copping. Please, what what happened? So now, nah, when I told him that, um, I told a, a, a partner of his um, that you know if he doesn't you know get his shit, I'm coming down there with the bat. And then pretty much after that, you know, the situation was resolved. Okay, okay. Wow, you know, wow, wow. He came through. He got all his shit, and then you know that was the, that was pretty much the end of it. Right. Wow. Have you heard from him or spoken with him since that incident? Um, no. Uh, well, basically, after that, I was telling him, I told you <laughs> wow. what kind of female you was dealing with. Then after that, um, I told him that uh, I, I said something on him on Facebook a while ago. No, actually, I, yeah, I just remember he hit me up saying, yo, man, people are out here uh, giving out um, packages and, uh, you know, and, and ganking people on these packages, and, you know, that's not right. I want you to help me out with that. Mm. You know, and, I, and I'm basically, I'm when it comes to this, this, this more science, when people are doing it, I'm willing to go to the, the whole route with yes, this, indeed. you know what I mean? Yes, so, indeed. So, and, and, and a lot of people know that. So, he, you know, he called me on that, and then I was like, what's up? What, what you want me to do? He just never responded after that. Okay. If people wanted to get some information from you, how could people get in touch with you, brother? Uh, you can email me at fitworldorder at gmail.com. Yes. And uh, being that I'm, I'm real about mine, my number is 917-659-5363. Again, 917-659-5363.